गाइस डू यू वांट टू ट्राई यूबन टू विदाउट मेसिंग अप योर मेन पीसी और सिस्टम सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल वॉक थ्रू द कंप्लीट प्रोसेस ऑफ इंस्टॉलिंग यू बन टू ऑन ओराकल वर्चुअल बॉक्स स्टेप बाय स्टेप हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो ऑफ इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ यू बन टू ऑन ओराकल वर्चुअल बॉक्स सो गाइस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू इंस्टॉल ओराकल वर्चुअल बॉक्स आई हैव क्रिएटेड सेपरेट वीडियो ऑफ इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ ओराकल वर्चुअल बॉक्स आई हैव गिवन लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स और यू कैन क्लिक ऑन आई बटन टू वॉच दैट वीडियो सो गाइस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू इंस्टॉल ओराकल वर्चुअल बॉक्स आफ्टर दैट यू इन डाउनलोड यू बन टू आई एस ओ एंड देन यू इंस्टॉल दैट यू बन टू आई एस ओ इन योर ओराकल वर्चुअल बॉक्स सो इन दिस वीडियो अ कंप्लीट सेटअप आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू सो डू वॉच माई वीडियो टिल एंड गाइज यू कैन ओपन एनी ऑफ योर फेवरेट ब्राउजर एंड सिंपली सर्च फॉर यू बन टू डाउनलोड एंड हियर इन गाइज यू कैन सी द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट ऑफ यू बन टू यू नेट टू सिंपली क्लिक ऑन दिस बटन here it's showing cookies just accept the cookies and now guys it will take you to this download page of ubuntu desktop and just scroll down guys and here you can see we have ubuntu lts version and if you scroll down we have latest version also so we will be installing lts so simply click on this download button the download size is 5.9 gb and you can see the download has been started guys the size is too big it is going to take time here you don't have to sign up for the newsletter just wait for download to complete so it will download your iso file so guys i have told you that we need oracle virtual box so here i have already downloaded and i'm starting my oracle virtual box and guys now let's create the virtual machine of ubuntu so for that simply click on this new button and here you need to provide name of your virtual machine so i'm installing ubuntu so i'm just giving name as ubuntu and this is a folder where your virtual machine will be save if you want to change you can just browse and change i'm keeping the default and next we are having iso image so in drop down just select other and browse your iso file iso file is the uh, ubuntu file which you have downloaded so simply browse browse it wherever you have downloaded so i'm just uh, browsing my ubuntu iso file and simply i'm clicking on this open button and now guys it will automatically determine the type of operating system its subtype so here you can see we have linux and ubuntu and ubuntu 64 bit you don't have to do anything over here it will automatically determine everything okay so this is the basic information now let's go to unattended installation here you need to provide the username so i'm just providing username as cs corner and password for this user so whatever password you like you can provide over here so i'm simply typing the password and retype password and here guys you can see the host name it has taken automatically so uh, remember this uh, password because we need this for login purpose now let's go to the third part hardware part here we need to provide the base memory that is the ram so around 4 to 6 gb ram you can provide if you want to run your uh, virtual machine smoothly so i am providing 4 gb and now guys here you need to provide hard disk size so i am just giving 100 you can provide more hard disk size if you want and just click on this button guys and you can see here it's showing me running vm or starting vm so it will uh, start my uh, installation of vm so again a uh, long process is there so here guys you can see Uh, the virtual box is getting started and we have try or install ubuntu so we will be selecting this option guys and now you can see here it's uh, just showing this screen and we have option install ubuntu so we will be selecting this option and now here guys it's a uh, around 1 hour process or 30 to 40 minutes process it will do everything all the setup all the installation whatever files are required of ubuntu all the setup it will do so is after 30 to 40 minutes installation it is taking me to this screen where it is starting my ubuntu In between you don't have to do anything it does everything for you you just need to start the installation since guys we are starting first time so it is taking time and guys here you can see it's showing me my user name which i gave initially cs corner just hit enter guys and provide the password so whatever password you gave during installation provide that password and hit enter guys 
and now guys you can see the ubuntu operating system has been started over here you can just go to this full screen mode and uh, you can see in full screen here we have to do few settings after that you can get your ubuntu on full screen so here it's showing me all this information you can skip or close this information whatever it is showing since the operating system has been started first time so it's showing this information so here i'm just clicking on this finish button now you can use whatever application of ubuntu you want the installation is successfully now i will be showing you we have to do certain settings so that we can get this ubuntu on full screen before that i'm just opening my browser and here i'm just setting up my browser a basic step of setting up browser and guys here uh, in my browser i'm just starting google.com and i'm searching my channel name to show you that yes my uh, vm is working so hence i started browser i'm showing you you can start terminal or whatever you want you can uh, do that uh, you can open any of the app and you can just verify the installation is successful now i'm just exiting the full screen mode and i'm just closing this my uh, vm and i will be showing you the steps how you can get this uh, we ubuntu in full screen mode because the screen is coming very small so we have to set a video memory so i'm just crossing this and here i'm clicking on this power off button and now it will take you to again oracle virtual box just select it and go to this settings option you can right click and go to settings option or at the top you can go to settings option so just select the settings option and under this settings we have to do a few important uh, system setting and display setting so here uh, under system setting i am just taking this uh, first tab and here it's uh, showing me base memory so my base memory is okay 4gb is okay so um, if you have 4gb or 6gb that is okay and then i am going to the next tab guys and here you can see we have a processor i have given only one processor so that is not sufficient uh, you can take a uh, four or six or more processor depending on the uh, information shown here right now on my system it is showing me this much processor so from that i am taking four processor and here just uh, make sure that on the third tab this is check mark okay so uh, this part is done system setting now we will go to display tab from left side and here i'm just uh, taking video memory as full whatever has been given over here you just take that so 128 i'm taking and here i'm taking this option make sure that this is selected and just close this guys and now let's start my ubuntu again so you can see guys my ubuntu has been started and now i will right click on my desktop and here i will go to this display settings option and under resolution i am going to select this 16 is to 9 and uh, this is the uh, width and height which i am selecting and just uh, click on keep changes option guys so you can see now it's showing your ubuntu in full screen mode so this way you can show your ubuntu in full screen mode initially we have not given all these details uh, so hence we provided letter on so uh, if you want to um, if the font is not readable you can scale also from this option scale option so guys that's all this completes installation of ubuntu on your oracle virtual box so guys i conclude my video i hope really my video has helped you guys you know for creating such kind of video it takes lots of time and lots of effort i hope you really understand that and if really my video has helped you don't forget to hit on like button and if you have any query you can put in comment box or you can send me on my instagram i reply all the queries guys guys share my video with your friend as much as possible and guys i'm having my website there i'm sharing lots of tutorial you can just follow the tutorials and they are free there and i'm there on different social media all my social media and website link i have given in description box and guys for me your subscription is very important if you are new to my channel and if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit bell icon to receive notifications from this channel thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye take care keep watching and keep learning guys